So what's going on guys, my name is Mr. Dalek JD, and in this video I'm going to be showing you a very small little easter egg on the eyes and Draka to actually get yourself a free gobble gun. This is a very similar easter egg to the one on Shadows of Evil where you can get yourself a free random gobble gun. You can do this again in this map. Now this is a pretty simple easter egg and the requirements for this is to build yourself the Ragnarok DG4 gravity spikes. If you don't know how to do that, I have a link down below in the description to show you how to get each part. But once you've built that, you want to actually get yourself a normal bow, Wrath of the Ancients, and make your way over to the bell tower, go all the way to the top and actually shoot this wall here which will reveal the part to start the fire bow upgrade quest. But we actually need the clock cogs to be visible so we can plant down our Ragnarok DG4 gravity spikes now doing this will actually activate a lever at the bottom of the clock tower which allows you to actually stop and start the clock now there's been a lot of confusion in the community over the past few days if this is actually required for the main easter egg steps and that is not the case whatsoever. This is actually part of a few different side quests, this being one of them and with the Ragnarok DG4 planted down you'll now be able to use the lever to change the time on the clock. Now we need the clock hands to be stuck on 935 exactly. The best way to do that is to have one person watching the clock and talking out the parts on when it hits every certain time such as maybe 845, 850, 855, etc. It's quite easy to get these time very well. You just have to count each tick and then hold down square, which will stop the time. Now this has to be bang on 935, it can't be on 934 or 936, it has to be on 935. Now once you have managed to do this, you'll hear a thunder strike and a really weird noise. And if you go down to the undercroft, you'll notice there is now a glowing orb above the pyramid. Now at this point you want to make your way back to the lab and on one of the shelves here will be a small plant with a single leaf sticking out of it. Pick this plant up as it's going to be vital in completing this easter egg. You may have noticed it before in your games, you picked it up and you're probably wondering what on earth this thing does, well now you've got an answer. So once you've picked up this plant, go over to the middle triangle and if you haven't already, stand on all four of the little blue pressure pads which will activate anti-gravity. If you've already done this, just wait until you have anti-gravity and keep running along the walls over these certain symbols until you eventually get teleported. It's quite random how this works. I'm pretty sure it's just running across the walls until you eventually get teleported, but you'll be teleported into the black and white Dr. Groff room, except Dr. Groff will not be there, and you want to go over to the shelf you originally picked the plant up and plant it down there. Now what's going to happen is you've gone back in the past and planted down this plant. Now when you go back to the present, obviously a lot of time has passed and the plant will have grown. If you go over to this plant and hold square, you'll actually get a free gobble gum. This gobble gum is completely random, so whatever you get, that is the one gobble gum you're going to get. And unlike Shadows of Evil, where all four players in a game could each get their own gobble gum, it only seems to be that one player in the game can get a gobble gum from this plant, and then it doesn't work for the rest of the game. So if you do want to try this again afterwards, you have to completely restart the game and do all this again to get another free gobble gum. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed this guide, make sure to smash that like button let me know your thoughts on this free gobblegum easter egg down below in the comment section and make sure to subscribe to my channel as I have a ton of the Eyes and Draka videos coming up including more little small side easter eggs. I've already got the main easter egg uploaded which you'll find also linked down below in the description. It's a very detailed guide on how to complete and get yourself the awesome end cutscene as well as the achievement. Thank you very much for watching the video guys and I'll catch you on another one very very soon.